Hello, this is Tim Stack from the Utah Education Network, and I want to share with you a few apps for concept mapping or mind mapping, or you might think of uh, diagramming ideas or uh, a graphic organizer uh, style uh, um, of tool. Uh, and these types of tools can be used for all sorts of uh, things, for brainstorming, for helping students uh, prepare arguments for a paper, to also um, organize their thoughts about a specific topic, to create, um, you know, uh, plus and minus charts or positive and negative charts for uh, decision. So there are a few of uh, these kinds of tools out there. Um, let me just show you here um, a few. Uh, there's, if you do if you do a search in the app store, you'll find a lot of these. Uh, Total Recall is one. Idea Sketch you can see. Um, let's see, Mind Mash is one. So you know I'm going to just demonstrate one here for you. Um, and it is called Poplet, and I've just got the light version. The light version allows you to have one of these at a time, so I can do one mind map and then have, uh, if I wanted another one, I've got to clear it off, but I could, I could export it, I could save it as a JPEG to turn it in, or to save it for reference later. So it's as easy as, um, I just double tapped on the screen to start my first box here, you can see the tools on the bottom there. So maybe this is my my first thing. So I'll just type one, um, and you can see along the side here some options for how these look. So I'll make it a little bigger. Also, there is a color option here. So if I want uh, blue borders there, that will work. Okay. So maybe that's my first box. All right. Now I'm going to make another one, sort of for the second one. So these little circles are the tools that if I just drag one of those it creates a second a second one so same thing maybe this is, I'm showing some sort of a process um, but let me not do this in order okay and we'll make this one a different color just to show differences here all right put that one out there now I'm going to go back and make a another option off of this so maybe this is a different choice um, so this is choice number three maybe they're going to go one way or the other and make that its own color as well. And you can see really easy to create just a quick mind map. Um, this one just, uh, this free version just lets me use these rectangles. If I wanted uh, one of these to be bigger than the other, maybe had some more text to put in there. Um, I can also, let me just create another one, bring in a photo, right? So if I've got some photos that I want to use to help illustrate my point, I can add a photo in, okay? Um, with this photo, I can even put a label on it. Okay, so just a simple, quick, easy to use um, concept mapping or uh, mind mapping tool. Okay, so I'm just, just, I'm just using my fingers to, to zoom in and out, move around uh, to create this simple mind map in Poplet. And when I've finished, I can say export, and I can save that JPEG, all right? So that JPEG has been, a screen capture basically has been done of what I'm working on it, and it's now in my photo album. You can see some of the other options. If I, if I was using email, I could email it straight to um, the teacher, okay? And when it comes time to be uh, finished, you just say clear all, and I'm off to start a new one. So um, with this free version, I can make one um, screen or one layout at a time. So a nice, quick, simple um, mind mapping tool that can be used, I think, with lots of a big variety of ages of students. Okay, so there is a paid version that lets you make as many as you want. I think uh, last time I checked, it, I think it was four dollars for the paid version. But um, for a quick tool to do nice, quick, simple mind mapping, my Poplet um, or just Poplet uh, might be a great option. Thanks for watching.